What is going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a good one. Welcome to a new video. Let's thank the Lord for another day and let's get started. So I'm Odie and today I got more Throne and Liberty for you. First, I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers. Welcome. You are fully appreciated. Second, I want to say thank you to all those that have been with me from the beginning. It's been a long ride. <laughs> But hey, we're growing fast, so stick around. Let's do this. All right, guys, this is going to be more Throne and Liberty. I got the ultimate fishing guide for you. This is going to be my best attempt at fishing. And see if I can't get you fishing like a professional. So hey, let's get into this. If you like it, you know what to do, baby. Drop some thumbs. Hit that like button. It would really help me out. And hey, come subscribe. Come join the OD Nation. I'd love to have you guys. Peace out, baby. Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome to another video. Today. We're going to make a guide on fishing. Try to get you fishing like a professional. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. All right, guys. Now, fishing is so important for making very good meals. Like you can see here, I've got so much food. It ain't even funny. But it's because I do a lot of fishing. Now, some of my favorite meals require fish. So let's go look at them. Like this one is one of my favorite. Bonus damage and skill boost damage. I am a DPS, so these are awesome. So don't forget why, why fishing is so important. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is a fishing rod. Now, I'm pretty sure you get these through the quests, but if you miss that, you can come over here to your contract merchant at Stone Guard or any of your contract merchants and buy a fishing rod and make sure you buy your daily bait, okay? So make sure you're doing that. Always buy your bait because you're always going to you, you're always gonna need it. All right, guys, you can also get bait from your shop. If you scroll down, you can use your ornate coins. To buy more bait right here so make sure you got enough bait all right guys another way to get bait is if you dissolve small fish that you catch so if you can when you're catching the fish the little small ones are good to make bait so make sure you never run out of bait all right guys before you start fishing come to your sundries merchant you want to buy the golden rye. You always want to buy all your dailies. So while I'm here, we're going to go ahead and get our eggs. Just get your dailies every day. But most importantly for fishing, this golden rye. All right, guys, in order to maximize your experience gaining and just leveling up fishing very, very fast, you want to make sure you come to your cooking oven before you go fishing, make you some rye bread. This rye bread will help you when it comes to fishing. I'm going to show you a little trick with that, too. So make rye bread. Also make a few of these. Keistler. Also make some Castler salad. All right, one way to get you a new fishing rod is to come to your senior sundries crafter, Melissa I'm in, in Stone Grad. All right, guys, so I am on the steel fishing rod, but you can also get a monster bone fishing rod by crafting up your steel run. And then you can also get the Tevent by getting his soul fragments and some nature jade. They all take nature jade, which come in the sacks, which we will get into in a minute. There are a few other ways to get fishing rods. Uh, you can get them from your Amatoys if you're sending them out on expeditions. All right, guys, so if you look right here, if you go, if you send your little expeditions out to Daybreak Shore, 
they have a chance to get this little blue bag. Now, this little blue bag from Daybreak Shore is the only bag you can get the Kraken fishing rod. So, until you get that Kraken, make sure you're sending them out to Daybreak. And you got a chance at getting one of the best fishing rods. So, don't forget your Emma toys. All right, guys. As you can see, our fishing is at 14. And I'm going to show you how you can level it up real quickly. All right, guys. So, before you start fishing, you got to find you a spot. Now, pretty much personal preference about where you go fishing because depending on where you fish on the map you will get different fish for different meals uh, for example like this is my favorite spot to fish also really enjoy the main waterway right here like just standing on this little bridge and fishing I'm sure you'll see some of that in the video but those are my two favorite spots this spot get a lot of barracuda and uh, down here you actually get I feel like you get more sacks over here than you do in other places but let's get into the rest of it all right big tip try to aim for clearer weather or uh, to where you can see what you're fishing for and what I mean by that is when you go to throw your fishing pole in make sure you can see in the water you know make sure you can adjust to be able to see the shadow of the fish <laughs> and we'll get into the reason why so first for console make sure your weapons are put up all right and then you just go to the edge find you some water you're gonna open your quick meal by holding down the left trigger we're gonna click in the right stick once to the quick menu two. push up on the right stick and take out your fishing rod now make sure you have it equipped over here this is where you equip your fishing rod if you don't have one equipped you won't be able to pull one out all right part two of that you're going to hit left trigger and rb and it brings up yeah the circle menu but if you look towards the right bottom of the thing it'll bring up your bait menu now we have three different types of bait from my personal experience i feel like this regular bait is better than the rest for me when it comes to getting bags and stuff I don't know if that'll change in the future but stick with your regular bait uh, sometimes I'll use the other bait just to get it out of my inventory once you got your rod equipped got your bait equipped pull it out and cast now very important angle your thing to where you can see the size of the fish so depending on what you want is depending on what you're going to fish for. That was a shadow of a large fish. Pay attention to the, the shadow. The shadow is what you're looking for. Look at the shadows. That was a big fish. This is a little fish. And this is why it's very important to, to be able to see into the water. So make sure you got a spot to where you can judge if it's a small fish or a big fish. And I'm going to explain why in a second. All right, so the basics of fishing. As you cast your float, the fish will come up and circle your bait for a few minutes, and then he will grab it, and then you hit your Q. LB on, uh, now you want your stamina not to go below the fish line. And once you get it, the idea is you're going to use your stamina to damage the fish. And you want to pull the opposite direction the fish is pulling. So make sure you keep your stamina above the fish bar, and it helps out so much, tremendously. Don't take your stamina below the little fish bar. Just keep it above. Once you get them down low, you can start using more of your stamina. All right. All right, that is a small fish. You can see the shadow. It's a little smaller. So pay attention to the shadows. Attention to detail, baby. All right, get in here, fishy. Now, if, if I do this wrong, you'll see it turn red. That means you're about to lose your fish. If you see the lure turn red, you're about to fail. <laughs> so make sure you're hitting the right direction. All right, guys, pro tip. The reason you want to look at the shadow and see what size fish it is, 
because the small fish are going to give you the bags. Large bags and small bags come from the little fish. So if you're farming bags, aim for the small fish, okay? All you got to do is throw your rod out. Now, if you see a large fish, you just pull your rod back. Hit X again, it'll pull it back. That was actually a small fish, but I was just showing you what I mean. If you cast it, pay attention to the size of the fish. That's a big one. If we want bags, we just pull out. If all you want is your bags, then do not catch the big fish. It's just a waste of time. Done that. So if you look right here in our chat, I think this was a small fish, the butterfly, for 266 experience, okay? This is the Balin Rassi for 407 experience. So what we're going to do now is we're going to eat just the fishing one, okay? See if I got a 15 minute. Or, okay, yeah, we do. And I always eat these first. Yeah, they can be put on the market, but for me, that's just another space in my inventory wasted. So we're going to eat any of them that have one, you know. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, guys. So let's see what happens now. Let's catch a couple fish. But I know I need a small one. Pull back, cast again. small sack from a small fish. Give me Balin Rossi. All right, there we go. Now we can now we're getting 468 experience for a Balin Rossi when I think it was what 409 the first time. But all right, now what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to eat one of those experience meals for extra experience. Yes, they both have coins. But watch this. They stack. So, now throw your rod out. Now you'll be getting even more experience for a caught fish. Another small sack, baby from a small fish now as it gets dark it gets harder to see the shadows which is why it's important to have a brighter fishing spot that is all right guys the reason you want to farm for the bags because the bags are where you're going to get your most rewards from fishing and the nature's jade which you use to f craft the new fishing rods you can also now get queen soul fragments and tevent soul fragments and trait unlock stones plus you always get solid solid's almost guaranteed the small sex let's go yep just solid so the so for me the small sex are not nothing to get crazy excited about because they mostly 90 percent of the time all you're going to get is solid and I bet the numbers are probably worse than that i'm i'm not you know exact with that number but from my experience the big bags almost 90 percent of those i get big big untrait lock stones and the jade so you'll get a jade in a small bag every once in a while but it's very rare the big bags is where your money is Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boys, fish biting? <laughs> Let's open these bags. Only got, what, one of each? <laughs> In, what, 15 minutes? So that's not bad. 
Especially with chances to get these. Ooh, yeah. Solid. What you got, big bag? Give me something good. That's what I'm talking about. See what I'm saying? We got both of them. And 56K. Let's go. There's a small sack. Small sack. Small sack. There we go. Yeah, baby. Come on with it. And with some of these big weapons, like if you look on my back, I got that talus staff. Well, those trait unlock stones are going to save you so much lucent. So do not slack on your fishing, guys. Fishing, I cannot stress how important fishing is. But all right, guys, that was my quick fishing guide. I hope you learned something. And if you liked it, you know what to do, baby. Drop some thumbs, hit that like button, and hey, Come subscribe. Come join the OD Nation. I'd love to have you guys. Peace out, baby. Yeah.